Supreme Court agrees to weigh in on Texas immigration law. The court ordered a delay in implementation of the sweeping new law, which would give local law enforcement officers in Texas the right to arrest and remove migrants. The intervention by the court came after the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit said on Saturday that it would allow the law to go into effect while the case against it proceeded in the court setting aside a lower court ruling that had halted implementation of the law. The Supreme Court did not overrule the appeals court instead. Justice Samuel Alito said in a brief order that the court was pushing back the date when the law could potentially take effect until 5 p.m. on March 13. The federal government had petitioned the High Court to overturn the circuit court block the law. Justice Alito said in the order that Texas would have until March 11 to respond. H-1B lottery overhaul to boost visa odds for foreign workers. Foreign workers in TIC and other high demand fields will have better chances of landing an H-1B specialty occupation visas this year thanks to a an overhaul off the annual lottery process. Unlike previous years, USC Citizenship and Immigration Services will base lottery selections on individual workers rather than the total number of submissions made on their behalf. The temporary visa should have a duration of up to six years, but can be extended indefinitely if workers have made sufficient progress in applying for an employer-sponsored green card. Hennepin County Prosecutors' Smooth Path for Crime Victim Immigration Visas Hennepin County prosecutors are making it easier for non-citizens who are victims of crime to get special temporary visas, UNT visas, which Congress approved in the early 2000s, allow victims of certain crimes, including sexual assault, domestic violence, and labor trafficking, to remain in the United States. As long as they aid investigators under the new policy, the office will process visas for crime victims, even if they re not testifying in cases that are being prosecuted by the county attorney's office. Friends, show us some love and smash a like button. It doesn't cost you anything. If you have an immigration problem or need a second opinion because you cannot get a hold of your own lawyer, schedule a meeting with our team. Share information with our CARES team and they will help you get scheduled with our legal team.